What's up guys, so welcome back and today we are going to be talking about how to set up SSH into your Juniper switch. It's a little bit easier than if you have a Cisco switch. I mean, there's not very many commands either way, but so first off we want to create a username and password that's not root. So we can do that by going to configure mode and then we'll just say set system and then login and then we'll say um, a user and then we'll say Josh and then we'll say the class is a super user and then the authentication will be a plain text password so I can just type it in all right and now if we do show you can see that now there is a user created with the username Josh who's a super user with the password set so let's go ahead and commit that and another thing I want to show you all is that if you say comment you can set up a, uh, a system to where you can track your changes so added user Josh so that way when you do your show show rollback you can see what you did and where so if you want to roll back to a certain configuration change you're able to all right, so now that we created our use our username, now we just have to enable SSH or Telnet. Uh, but you know, Telnet is not secure, so that would not be recommended. So we go to set system, and then we'll say services. And there's our options under that. We'll say SSH. All right, so to just enable it. We just have to say set system services SSH. <clears throat> if you want to change different command uh, commands and uh, customize it a little bit, you can do that. You can, for example, set the rate limit so that people can't, you know, connect over and over and over the maximum amount of connections. If you don't want more than so many people in it at one time, but we're just going to enable it, then commit and quit. <clears throat> All right, and this will bring us back to operational mode and we should be able to see if we do show interfaces terse <clears throat> I have a RBI created that we'll use to log into the switch it is right here all right so if we do SSH username at the IP address yes all right so now we are prompted for password and we're in all right so that's how you set ssh on juniper switches if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you